Actually, you know what? Fuck that. I don't like that start. Um, all right. Camera checks, check. Microphone check. One, two, one, two. Up in the house, motherfucker. Here we go. Here we go. Rock, rock. One, two, one, two. And it's game on, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. Get it going, get it up, get it up, get it up, uh huh, uh huh. Raise your hands up, raise your hands up. Yep, yep. All right. Good morning, YouTube. It's Dr. Ride or Die here. Uh, going out on a little jaunt, but uh, something's been on my mind lately. And I would like to share my thoughts, feelings, and opinions with you. And just uh, ask to remember that's all it is in this, you know, big, awesome, magnificent world we live in. Um, that's all everybody's saying. They're saying their opinions, their beliefs, their thoughts, and uh, it's nothing else. Either you like it or you don't, you know, but there's no need to hate on it. So, with that said, How big? What size? The leader bike? R1? It's FZ1. Yeah, so it gets the handlebars instead of the clip-ons. It's the main difference. Same engine though, same R1 engine. I got a uh, 04 R1 thing at Nice. Yeah, have a good one, man. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. It's nothing but love, baby. Um, all right. So, anyways, back to the uh, back to the message at hand. Um, recent video post in the moto vlogging community on a topic of karma uh, by a gentleman named Cycle Cruza. And uh, normally that guy seems pretty chill, pretty cool. He loves his motorcycles. He loves being out on two wheels. He wants to provide good information to people to support them and their venture, you know, looking to get into motorcycling. And, uh, but his last post, I don't know what happened to the dude. Um, I can only assume what happened is there was that video posted uh, by, I forget who it was, um, but the guy was kind of just making fun of uh, Cycle Cruise's style by a uh, little imitation of, of the way he spoke and whatnot, and it seems like the uh, Cycle Cruiser took it personally and was offended by it. And so he put out this video on karma, uh, or at least his version of karma. It's not the, the, you know, what I've come to understand in all my studies as the real version of karma, but, you know, if everybody's got their own beliefs and, you know, how they want to work them. So, with that said, I just want to, you know, cover the topic of his version of karma consisted of, basically it sounded like if you do something, you know, you say something that's negative or disagreeable in this situation, to, in this case, Cycle Cruza, that he has a system in place or belief around him that, um, that karma, you know, or at least his version of it, uh, the person will be harmed tenfold. And, you know, that's, that's, in reality, it's actually not karma, that's the pagan witchcraft belief, uh, protection type spells. Um, but, he wanted to include it in the karma. Karma itself is not a system of punishment. It's never been a system of punishment. It's merely been what goes around comes around. You know, it's the easiest way to say it. The true true definition or chain, uh, uh, of it is uh, cause and effect. So basically, what you put out, what you what you cause in the world, uh, eventually will come come back to you and affect you. And so. An easy example of that, or the one that I thought of, and I don't want to get into the whole political aspect or cultural aspect of it, but I thought of the movie Braveheart. And that's because there's this guy, William Wallace, falls in love, girl of his dreams, you know, they're obviously destined since they first saw each other when they were little kids. And um, the, the system at the time allowed the ruler of his area, the English ruler, so it wasn't even from the hometown, um, to go ahead and execute this, her because she didn't follow the rules for marriage. So she gets killed. He gets angry. He vows revenge. And uh, he's not going to let anything stop in the way of his revenge. So he goes out, kills hundreds, hundreds of people. You know, freaking fathers, sons, brothers, husbands, 
Like, you know, these, these are other people's loved ones, but he's, you know, he's justified in his need to go out and seek revenge for what was done to him. Um, and in the end, he ends up getting killed himself in a violent, torturous death where his insides are ripped out. And that's, that's kind of what happens. That, that was his version of karma. You know, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. And, uh, you know, or what goes around comes around. And he put that out there, it came back to him. And, it, you know, it was sad. It was sad in the end uh, for everybody involved. So, but anyways, that's, that's kind of like the karma that was being discussed by Psycho Cruiser, including this, this tenfold thing, which I have I've, I've friends that have been into paganism, witchcraft, and they've explained it to me in terms of protection spells, you know, to keep negativity out of your life, that you, you put a, a coat of arms over you, so to say, that if somebody does something to harm you or plots against you, then their efforts will be foiled and will, you know, I've heard three times fold back at them. I've heard seven times fold, but man, the dude, dude jumped it up to tenfold. So I guess if you don't agree with uh, the love of Honda, you know, then it, what, your, your freaking Suzuki is gonna explode? I don't know. But that's, uh, that's kind of what was put out there. And I just want to say to Psycho Cruza, I understand you're hurting, man. I understand you put yourself out there. You want to put out a good product. You want people to like your shit. Um, I don't see what took place as terribly negative. The dude, dude, it's just, uh, what is it? Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. You know, you got imitated. That means you're doing something out there because that guy had to take enough time to go ahead and make a video about you. <laughs> like, come on, man. So, and, and get, to, get a little sense of humor. You gotta be able to laugh at yourself. You know, some of the stuff, I'm sure you're not happy with you've done in your life. You can kind of mention that. You know, you forgive yourself. Awesome, dude, that's the first step. You know, you gotta accept it, and then you gotta forgive it. Um, but to turn around and put hate out there, a message of hate, especially to the motorcycle community. Because we're all out here, we're all on two wheels, we're all risking our lives, you know, each second we're on the road, and to have some set, of, uh, some set of negative belief system with a negative set of imagery to it. You know that picture you post, dude's got a fractured cervical spine, dead lying there with his leg fucking snapped out. Like, come on, man. You don't need to put that out there. It's like all the people that, you know, you're out, your friends and family, they're like, oh, man, we worry about you. You're going to kill yourself, whatever. It's just, I always tell those people that's negativity. Like, I don't need that. If you want me to be safe, just wish me to ride safe. Picture me riding safe. Picture me going where I need to go. You know, if that's what you need to do, because that's what I'm doing. I'm out there visualizing myself being safe, getting home safe to the people I care about. And I would hope you would want to wish the same for everybody else on two wheels, because we're all in this together, man. We're all in this together. We all love the motorcycles. It doesn't matter what it is, cruiser, sport bike, whatever. But any divisiveness of like, you're this, you're that, you're bad, you're negative, you're mean, like, come on. Let's just keep it positive. Let's support each other. You know, let's wish well to those. And really, if, if you took offense, like you got your feelings hurt because somebody was saying something actually mean about you, actually hurtful about you, all that is is a, uh, just a, a testament to themselves, you know? It's what, the, it's what they feel about themselves is what they're putting out in the world. And maybe what you're putting out in the world is you feel like you deserve to be punished tenfold, you know? So I hope that you can see through this. I hope that you can feel better about this because you know what? Like we, we're all in this together. It's nothing but love, man. So this picture this is a giant YouTube hug. You know, and whatever people can say what they want to say, but don't let it get to you, man. Don't let it get to you. They just won. That, that, that's people, if they want, the, people that want to fuck with other people, when they elicit a response, a reaction, you know, especially one of anger and hate and whatever, they won. They beat you. You know, they called you out and they beat you. So I hope you feel better, man. I hope you take this for what it's worth. Um, you know, just trying to keep it keep it in the positive keep you know put out nothing but love for people put out nothing but i wish everybody rides safe i wish everybody gets home safe i wish that everybody has a good time on two wheels you know and uh i hope you i hope you can believe that too you know i try not to sell people on my beliefs but 
this one I had to put it out there because we're all out here together and we all need to stay in each other's corner, you know what I mean? So, anyways, I'm about to whip around this freaking work vehicle. Uh, all right, YouTube, much love to you all. Peace, love, happiness. Keep it real.